Good morning, Mass Mom staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Monday C Day announcements. Happy first day of May from Nurse Chris. Final prom payments for the senior junior prom are due today. Students, all tickets must be paid for by this time today, end of the day. This includes any tickets for your dates and or guests. If you are having an issue with making the final payment, please see Miss Chris, Miss Bacon, or Mr. Trainer by the end of the day, Monday. Today, it's today. Upcoming events, Friday's the big one. It's the Culture Fest. More on that in just a bit. And students, you know our number one priority always at Mass Bomb is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because we are here to support you. All right, attention. For Mr. Blyweiss and the Mass Bomb Student Council, SEPTA wants input from the School District of Philadelphia on its forthcoming Bus Revolution project, which will change how buses are organized and distributed on routes around the city. Mass Bomb students and staff are invited to a virtual meeting hosted by SEPTA on Tuesday, May the 2nd from 5 to 6 p.m. Your advisors have been given more information about the meeting, about the bus revolution, the link to register for the meeting is right there. Students, okay, this is important, okay? And thank you to Mr. Blyweiss and the Student Council for leading up this initiative. All right, you know what we have in two weeks' time? I can't believe it's here already. It's the Spring 2023 Keystone Exam. All right. And, you know, students, I want you to think on something here. Mass Bomb, actually, let me enlarge the font on that. Mass Bomb has grown 18.5 points in the Keystone. That was last year's test takers over a four-year span. This is one of the highest growth rates in the school district. We are making gains at Mass Bomb. We have the spring 2023 Keystone coming up. Let's keep those gains rolling. So when are the dates? Okay, May 15th and 17th will be ninth grade. Uh, we'll be taking Algebra 1. And 10th grade will be Algebra 1 students who did not score proficient. Okay, during last year's administration. May 18th and 22nd will be 10th grade students. All 10th grade students will be taking literature. And then May 23rd and 24th will be all 10th grade students will be taking biology. Okay, you are taking the keystone. And I'll come in uh, in future announcements with what the schedule is going to be on those days. You are taking the keystone if you are currently enrolled in Algebra 1, Biology, or English 2. Or you have been enrolled in one of these courses previously but you have not scored uh, a score of proficient or advanced on the Keystone. Keystone point values. Want everybody to know about this. This is really important. This is how the test is constructed. Okay. Algebra 1, 60% of the score is multiple choice. 40% is the constructive response. Biology, 73% of the test is worth uh, on multiple choice. 27%. Constructor response. And with literature, 65% of the test and its total points is on multiple choice, and 35% is for the constructor response. So what you see right here, yes, we all know multiple choice questions are very important on an assessment, but students, you must sweat it all. You must give it your all for those constructor response questions. Lots of writing. Lots of analysis. I know your teachers have prepared you well. Okay, this is uh, that's where we really put forth our, our effort. And some uh, fun things going on for the Keystone. Keystone kickoff week. We have our spirit week. That's next week, the week of the 8th. That first day, Monday, is tie-dye t-shirt day. We have Keystone's down to a T. That day is also the ninth grade algebra Keystone Pep Rally. Tuesday is Twin Day. We are twinning. That is also the 10th grade English Keystone Pep Rally. Wednesday is Gene Day. This is all next week again, students, because we are geniuses. 
10th grade bio keystone pep rally is that day. The 11th is red day. And the 12th, I've heard some people have big plans for this, is 90s day. All right, let's get it. And the Keystone Block Party was a lot of fun, students, last year. You remember, the Keystone Block Party will be on May 26th from 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. It is for students that have perfect attendance for all their Keystone exams and have excellent effort, as is noted by their proctors. Okay? The party will feature food, music, competitions in the gym, a video game room, and other fun events. Invites to the Block Party will be distributed the morning of May the 26th. And once again, students, how do you get into the Keystone Block Party? Perfect attendance on whatever tests it is that you must take, okay? And also, excellent effort, as is noted by your proctors, because you are doing this for yourselves, yes, and you're also doing it for your school. Culture Fest is this Friday. Okay, we've been talking about that a lot. The door decoration, last year's winners, in the way of clubs that are meeting today, we had Mr. Lumumba's Club, the Gamers Club in room 323. We have the Spanish Media and Translation Club after school with Mr. King in 605. We have the Tabletop Games Club with Mr. Thomas after school in room 407. And, of course, daily we have the Rubik's Cube Club with Miss Walker. In 313, monitor about Kuth, bracelet sales, Chromebook repairs, social media. Oh, let me increase the font on this. This is a shout out from Mr. Thomas. All right. From Mr. Thomas, as of Friday, the 28th, Junior Valdez is now tied with Hector Rios for the number of times each has beaten Mr. Thomas at chess. Word on the street is that Mr. Thomas almost wants to lose to Hector one more time just to change that statistic. Congratulations, Junior, for taking that win. All right. Mr. Thomas, thank you for that shout-out of Junior. Junior and Hector, you are both developing in your chess prowess. And, you know, just the other day, I was talking to Junior in the main office, and I was giving somebody work papers, and I said, Junior, do you need working papers? And Junior said, no, I already have a job. I said, where do you work, Junior? He said he works at the McPherson Library, just a few blocks away. I said, oh, that, that's pretty cool, Junior. What do you do there? And this is a direct quote from Junior. He said, mostly I'm just roasting young bulls in chess. That's what Junior said. Uh, apparently all the practice is paying off. And he is now defeating Mr. Thomas with uh, some degree of frequency. National Days today is May Day. It's a, the first day of May. Celebrate. It's like a, a flowers kind of national day. Um, I don't totally understand it. Also, it is National Chocolate Parfait Day. That's a really good dessert. Let's close out with our school vision. Hey, Massbond students are builders. Improve Keystone scores, improve Nocti scores. We're Mass Bomb. We build the future heavy. Great Monday.